In this video, we will discover the basics of a free image editing program called GIMP. GIMP is the acronym for GNU Image Manipulation Program. This is a cross-platform image editor. It has a great variety of features, and it can be compared to Photoshop, which is an expensive editing program offered by Adobe. The version of GIMP I'm using is 2.8.2 .2 for Windows. Let's check it out. As you can see, it has three main windows. The Tools window, the Image window, and the Layers, Brushes, Patterns and Gradients window. The main toolbox is located at the top of the Tools window. This is the heart of the editing program. Let's take a closer look. It contains a set of icon buttons which you can use to select the tools. But how many tools do we have? There are 34 tools, enough to create almost anything you like. You can use them for selecting parts of images, painting on them, transforming them, and many other things. We'll quickly go for each one of the tools. We will discuss only the basics. So I will tell you without going into too much detail in this first tutorial. The first one is the Rectangle Select tool. You can do many things with it. For instance, you can select a rectangular region and then copy and paste it somewhere else. So for instance, after opening this picture, you can copy the glass of wine with Ctrl C, paste it with Ctrl V and then drag the copy of your object. Easy and effective. Or you can change brightness and contrast for the rectangular region you selected. But for this effect, you will also need the brightness and contrast option from the colors menu. The ellipse tool is pretty similar. Instead of selecting a rectangular region, we will select an elliptical one. The free select tool allows you to make selections based upon a freely drawn region that you create with your mouse and also by using polygonal lines. So if instead of click and drag you release the left mouse button and click someplace else, GIMP will generate a straight line between the two dots. If you're a Photoshop user, you'll realize that this is pretty similar to the lasso tool from Photoshop. This tool does the same thing as the lasso tool, but in this program it is known as free select tool. The fuzzy select tool is like the Photoshop magic wand tool. Maybe you want to quickly select and remove larger areas. You can just click them with this tool and then press delete. But let's say we want to remove the background and make it transparent. It will be easier if we use a certain type of picture. If you have a picture with a very good contrast between the background and the foreground, with this tool you will be able to remove the background. Select by color tool. With this we can select regions with similar colors. So GIMP will automatically select all pixels with the same color in the region you clicked and at the same time all the regions from the picture that have the same color. Same as the one you clicked. Scissors Select. This uses intelligent edge fitting and it is for very precise selections. Let's say you want to select someone's hair or eyebrow. If that's what you want to do, then this tool is recommended. Foreground Select. If you don't have a good contrast between the foreground and the background, this tool is useful for selecting the foreground and removing the background.
we also have the path tool very useful in case we want to quickly draw a shape with straight lines or curvy lines with color picker, we can pick a color from our picture and use it to colorize a different area. With zoom tool, we can zoom in to an area that we want to work on. Of course, after we finish, we can zoom out. The icon that resembles a compass is for measure tool. If you select it and draw a line on your picture, the status bar will show the exact number of selected pixels, so the distance in pixels. You will also be able to change the unit of length and choose between pixels, inches, millimeters, points, feet, yards and picas. A pica being the unit of measure used in typography. One inch is equal to 72 points and one pica is equal to 12 points. We will clarify some aspects and talk about other tools in another video. Maybe you are still confused, but no worries, this was just the first part, a brief introduction.